Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So, apologies for the uh, last probably month I haven't been posting regularly. Uh, been quite busy, been away of cricket at the moment, so I do a bit of umpiring in, of cricket in the summertime. So, haven't been doing too much travelling, haven't done too many uh, reviews, but I've got, I've finished what I've needed to do, representative wise, and now I'm back on deck. So, I thought first thing I'll do is I'll get back into it. I'm going to do a review on the, uh, the very new kick ass. A 12 volt jaffle maker or toasty. Now, I pay for this myself, so Kickass hasn't supplied this to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run through a few details of it, and then we're gonna cook up a toasty. And they reckon you can cook it up in about 10 minutes. So I'm keen to see how it works. I've got a bit of got some cheese in there, got some bread, uh, some sweet and sour sauce, can of beer. So we'll cook it up down here and uh, see what it tastes like. But anyway, well this is. This is what it looks like. Nothing much to it. Dimensions of it, I think it's roughly 30 centimetres by 25 by maybe 12 at, at best. It weighs bugger all. I think it says 1.2 kilos. Um, it's just got an opening latch on the front as normal as a normal toasty would. So it can cook up to two toasties. I know it's a jaff line, some people are gonna get upset about it, but I, I like calling it tasties. You can call it tasties, jaffle, uh, tasties or jaffles, whatever you want to call them, or if you got some other name for it, let me know, I'm keen to know. So, cooks up two jaffles. It's got a, uh, a non-stick Teflon coating on the, on the inside. Um, as I said, it's 12 volt, and it's 340 watt. Uh, the rating of it, it draws roughly about 30 amps and it's got a, uh, a thermal cutout of a, when it gets to 150 degrees. So um, it's got an Anderson connection. When you preheat it, it's got a green and red light. So again, turn it on, red light will come on, green light's when it's ready. Whack your jaffle in there or your toasty, closed up, red light will come back on, reheat it up again. When that green light comes on, the toasty's ready to go. So it comes with a 12 month warranty. Um, I got on there the other week when they had their their Christmas specials or their 21 days of Christmas and I got it I picked it up for $59 so I thought why not now everyone loves a bloody a decent toasty so I'm gonna hook it all up and we'll see how it all goes so it comes with some optional extras as well so it comes with an Anson plug which most kick-ass stuff does um, they said it's not recommended to use with a SIG socket. Um, I would have liked to see the, the wiring on this possibly a little bit heavier, um, but again, it's just a cheap jaffle maker, toasty. Um, and that also says to all, ensure they've got a 50, you've got a 50 amp hour fuse, or 50 amp fuse uh, to run from your um, battery to your toasty just in case it shorts out there somewhere. Right guys, what we'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll knock up a toasty. I'll uh, we'll preheat this and um, chuck a toasty in and we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, uh, so we've got the Jaffa Maker all set up. I'll just lock it up. I'll plug it into the uh, Kick-Ass mini power box through the uh, input output. So this has got a uh, 50 amp hour uh, protected circuit inside it, so, which then runs back to my PowerTech 100 amp hour uh, lithium. So we'll go ahead and chuck it on. Right -o. So we've got a red light on top of the, on top of the jaffle maker. Excuse the camera work. I don't know why we're waiting for that. As I said, it's roughly five minutes. So I'll go ahead and we'll knock up a couple of toasties. So nice clean chopping board for anyone that gets concerned about doing it in the dirt. Nice and clean, some butter, got our bread. Sweet chili sauce, bit of cheese. Everyone loves a toasty, cheese toasty. Can't forget the most important ingredient. We'll have that when it's cooked. And that'll go in the, uh, the Gaunt Chubby and Old Stubby Older. If anyone's keen on a Stubby Older, 
hit us up in the comments and um, if we get enough interest, we'll put an order in and um, we'll get them made and get them sent out. All right, before I go any further, I just thought I'd bring these in and show you. That was, the voltage on that when I first started was at 13.6 volts. So it's sucking a bit of juice out of the power, so that you can see it's down to 13 volts. So I'm thinking you're going to want to have a good, decent battery set up to run this little guy, because I think it's going to draw a fair bit of power. Well, obviously, obviously drawing 30 amps, it's drawing a fair bit. So still got the red light on it. You can feel it starting to warm up. You can touch the outside, so there's no problem with kids touching. They're not going to get burnt. Grabbing the power cord itself, running back to the battery box itself. It is a little bit warm, but it's not hot, hot. It's not going to get, it's not going to catch on fire or start melting. But anyway, let's start getting this toasty made up, whack it in the, in the jaffle maker and hook into it. Right, let's tuck into it. So I think it's preheated, the jaffle maker itself, so it's the battery's voltage it's come back up to 13.2 so i've got a 200 amp hour or 200 watt solar panel on the roof so let's just chuck a fair bit of charge back into it so we'll just quickly knock this up everyone knows how to make a toasty plenty of butter on it a nice golden brown look all right a bit of cheese Bit of bigger. Strong and body is the only cheese to get. A couple of slices of that on there. Something like that. Bit of sweet chili. I'll have just about anything on a toasty. I'll just call it a train smash half the time. But for this, we just sort of make it nice and simple. Righto, we'll go and chuck it on the uh, jaffle maker. Righto, it's been about five minutes. As you can see, I hope you can see the, the red and green lights on. It's just starting to bubble with a bit of cheese out the side. So again, touching it, it, it's warmed up a heap more than what it was before. So I, I can put my hands on there, but for not as long as before. The power cord back to the the power box itself, it's it's the same as before. It's warm, but it's not hot. I don't think you're gonna have any dramas with it. And battery's back up to 13.2 volts. Righto, let's uh we'll disconnect it. And I uh, will open up and we'll inspect the contents and hopefully it's nice and golden brown. Oh, tell you what, that is unbelievable. This is dead set, a game changer for me on the side of the road. You pull up, quick taste of cheese sandwich, chuck whatever you want in there, baked beans, spaghetti, train smash it like I do, just throw weird stuff in there and cook it up. Right over, we'll roll him over the other side. Nice and tasty. What I might do is I'll move this out of the way. I'll bring this back over here. Oh, a bit of melted cheese on top of the fridge. Get rid of that. All right, I better tuck into this pretty quick because the flies have smelt the awesome food and they want a piece of it too. Might make it easier with a sharp knife. Righto. Yep, cheese is nicely melted too. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, we'll have a bite. Yep. Certainly no complaints from me anyway. That's beautiful. Absolutely sensational.
Seriously guys, how good is that? You pull up on the side of the road, quick toasty, 10 minutes, you're into it. Or well, if you pulled up at camp, you can have a toasty. And uh, a bit of the holy water, cheers. <sighs> Tell you what, that is send bloody sensational. Yeah, right, I guys. So as I said, that was definitely a uh, a game changer for ease of cooking when on the road. Plug it in the 12 volt system. Cook up a jaffle, a toasty. Takes you 10 minutes, and it can all be done just back of the back of the vehicle, caravan, whatever you got. But I think you need to have a decent battery setup because drawing 30 amps is going to suck the power out. As I said I've got a 100 amp hour lithium battery with a 200 watt solar panel. So it was working, but full sun, you'll have no problem recharging before we get to our next stop or before the sun goes down. So, so have you got any questions on, uh, on the Jaffel Maker? So hopefully I've covered over everything that everyone would like to see. As I said, it does get a bit hot to touch after about 10, after that sort of 10 minute mark but the cord heading to the, uh, back to the, to the Anderson plug itself, it did get a bit warm. And as I said, I would have liked to see it just a little bit bigger um, core wire, would have made it a little bit better. But for 69 bucks, 12 months warranty, if it makes you 150,000 jaffles, then you're, you're a winner. So but anyway, guys, if you are enjoying the content, just check up here. There'll be a, a link to a heap more kick-ass stuff, so jump over there and have a bit of a sticky beak, and I'll, uh, I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.